Hey guys, it's Josh Henry, Chief Simplifier with SimplifyChurch.com. Just want to put together this quick video to show you a portal update that went out last night. This will be our July update to the portal, and it's got some cool features uh, to show as you log in. Uh, the first thing we did was we added a deposit overview uh, piece. So if we go to our Add Deposit screen uh, and fill everything out, much like you would do already, we can put the numbers in here. As you hit next, what you'll notice is we start to add our details. Um, we have these different line items that you can give to, for instance. And you'll notice right here, this is what happens. We have this new deposit overview subtotal. Um, and what this will do is it will add up the total of your deposit, the breakdown by income line. Uh, it just helps you to kind of make sure that everything's getting accounted for where you anticipated it to go. Um, as we kind of fill out each different item, and I'll kind of go through here real quickly and just add one more um, to the general income. We'll put the remaining amount of 150. Greens out, but as you can see, this will give you a little breakdown. So this should match your count sums. So we're, we're depositing $500. 400 of that was to general income. 100 of that was to our camp registration. And you can see the breakdown by person here in that deposit. So pretty cool new feature. Hopefully it'll save you some time and headache as you're managing deposits. The second feature that went in last night, and I'll just show you on an existing check, is uh, actually more of a fix uh, for an update we had recently. But this will allow you to now have multiple child lines um, showing up in your deposit in your uh, expense and deposit breakdowns as you can see here. Uh, previously we had a, a little bug where it was only allowing it to go one child line deep. You can see now that it breaks down to your uh, third and potentially fourth line. I don't know that I would go that far just because it's gonna not show everything up here. Um, if you're if you're getting down that detailed we may need to talk about your budget uh, and your line items get you're getting a little too into the weeds there but that's a bigger a bigger issue we can talk about later um, but just to say you know child child lines of your budget now show uh, and can be selected uh, within the budget so a final feature which is kind of cool and this is going to be uh, based on whether or not you want to use it so it's not turned on by default but if you go here to manage organization and then you'll notice this new item here. We're going to fix whether it says it says false or true. We're going to change that to be yes or no. Uh, but track member versus non-member contributions. If that is set to true, uh, and we save our organization, if we go back to the contributors tab, you'll have a new line here that uh, whether this person is a member. So right now we're using it. We had a couple churches request this for member, non-member specifically. Uh, we're discussing about changing this to be uh, the wording to be customizable to your church. Uh, so look for that and put a potential near uh, future update. Uh, potentially that could be internal versus external, whatever. Um, but you'll notice we have, uh, everybody's going to, if you just turn it on, everybody's going to default to uh, no status. So you'll need to kind of come in and update them, but it'll allow you to come in, do that, and you'll see they show up here. And what that'll do, that'll allow you to be able to produce reports uh, of giving for members versus non-member giving, if that is something you are interested in tracking. Again, it is a on or off based on your organization. If you want it or not, it's there. Uh, we also made several uh, key updates to the back end um, to some bugs that were uh, that existed. Uh, the ability to uh, you must re you must assign a payee to every transaction that won't let it go through without doing that, and some other back end features to make it run a little faster. So hopefully you enjoy the new features. If you have any questions, please let us know. If you have any ideas or updates you'd like to see in the portal also, please let us know. Uh, let your account manager know uh, an idea. And if we use it, we'd be happy to uh, uh, make known that it was your idea as things went through. So hope that is well. Hope you're well. If we can do anything for you, please let us know. Thanks.